and loves is L and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here and welcome back to Green Clean Healthy Week. Today we are talking all about natural deodorants and the battle of these two. So before we get started, hit the subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. We're going to talk about natural deodorant. I've actually been trying these out probably for this one for the past four months I believe and this one shortly thereafter about the last three three months maybe yeah about three months um, so I know these very very well so you might be asking yourself why are you talking about deodorant for me um, there is a lot of health risks that potentially can come from aluminum and chemical based uh, deodorants and so I actually made the switch a couple of years ago, about a year and a half ago, but I went into using Tom's at first. So I just went to my local uh, health food store and bought Tom's. Now, Tom's didn't really work that great for me, and so I thought I would try something different. But before we get going into which one I prefer, uh, I want to chat with you about why, I have my notes as usual, I want to chat with you about why you might want to switch to natural deodorants and how to do it. Now, Natural deodorant can scare people because sometimes they think that it won't control sweat very well, that you, you know, you smell pretty bad on them, and all of those can be true, but also there is a learning curve to them. So, first of all, why do we want to switch to natural deodorants, or why we might be thinking we want to switch to natural deodorants? So, a typical deodorant has chemicals and aluminum in them, and that can really uh, potentially add to skin irritations, possible health risks, uh, even making your perspiration, perspiration, I can't say that word, or sweat, worse. You are, first thing is you are supposed to sweat. That is just part of the body's natural way of detoxing, regulating body temperature, um, and basically overall body health is through sweat. That's why whenever you work out, it's great to sweat. It's like a detox. It cleanses the body. Using these more chemical-based and uh, aluminum-based deodorants can actually clog your pores and not allow you to uh, release those toxins that you need to re-releasing. So just so you know, whenever we have the smell that we're talking about, it's actually when the sweat comes into contact with natural bacteria that is found on our body, that lives on our body. So like when the sweat and the salt uh, interacts with the bacteria on our body. So it's not necessarily um, the actual body smelling, it's about that sweat coming into contact with the bacteria. There are some potential uh, studies that have been released recently about the possible negative side effects from chemical sunscreens leading to health concerns. Uh, speaking on a more, um, you know, serious topic, it can lead to, or it has been thought to potentially be able to lead to breast cancer and Alzheimer's, uh, the aluminum in them. So that is another reason why people are switching because if there could possibly be a link, you know, something easy to change, why don't we? And that's actually why I made the switch. Um, I don't talk about it a lot on here, but my family has been plagued with Alzheimer's, unfortunately, and so I am trying to diminish that the most I could possibly can. Um, and so when I decided to make that switch, it was, you know, it was, it was a lot for me. <laughs> um, reason being is for several reasons. First of all, I noticed that I, when I first made the switch, was sweating a lot more. And this is actually something that you're going to have to uh, deal with for a little bit when you are switching to a natural deodorant. So wearing a chemical aluminum uh, based uh, antiperspirant actually can not allow you to sweat the way you're supposed to. So whenever you back off of that, it actually kind of comes in full force. I actually did not wear deodorant for about a couple of weeks, and uh, that's what they also suggest is to try to, you know, back off deodorant completely and allow your body to completely detox those chemicals out of your body. Um, what they also suggest is exfoliating the underarm area because, um, again, those chemicals and aluminum can clog those pores, go right into the bloodstream, and really exfoliating that is going Going to help open up the pores, clear all of that out, and really, um, you know, give you like a smoother texture under the arms. Um, my just not to be too graphic, but when I was wearing those chemical deodorants, 
and the toms mine would itch so bad and i knew there was something not right now all natural deodorants are not created equal i do want to say that you're going to have to try a couple to find what works for you because all of our bodies have different chemistry in them and each deodorant is going to react differently with you um and there is a, a kind of a trend on people and companies bringing out more natural deodorants which i am very very excited about it's fun i mean you know why not change it up so the also the one thing that i will also say is that when you start using a natural deodorant you will find that you do smell a little bit more it's a temporary thing it happens just try to go your best to get through this this whole process took me a couple of months to be honest with you of detoxing there are also uh, ways that you can detox the underarm with um, kind of homemade remedies I never I didn't do any of that I just wanted the body to do it naturally so again there is going to be this kind of detoxification time when you are transitioning into a natural deodorant please try to stick with it if this is something that interests you and get through it and it will be in my opinion better on the other end um so again i told you that i've I tried the toms for a long time um, I never felt like it really worked very well with my body chemistry, but I never wanted to go back to the chemical deodorants. Um, so when Biosan several months ago came out with their uh, Biosan squalene bamboo deodorant, and they sent it to me actually, um, I was like so excited to try this. Now, let me read you what it says on their website because it's really, really informative and it is something that you guys should definitely know. All right, so basically this deodorant obviously is for all skin types. Um, it is a clean, non-toxic, silky smooth, non-staining stick formula that doesn't contain pore-clogging aluminum uh, like antiperspirants do. Uh, basically, it does not contain any parabens, sulfates, synthetic fragrance, or phthalates, as well as baking soda. The bamboo in it helps absorb that sweat and oil. Um, it is also kind of that Biosance uh, philosophy where they have 2,000 no-no ingredients uh, that they don't formulate any of their products with, and then none of those are in, the, in this as well. Also, dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, non-comediogenic, non-toxic, uh, EWG verified, which is amazing, vegan, and of course, cruelty-free. Um, and it also is free of PEGs and, uh, yeah, baking soda, which I said. Um, and so I'm not going to speak on to why these companies don't put baking soda in their products. Um, I don't quite understand it fully. So if you would love to explain to me that in the comment section, I would appreciate it. But I am not knowledgeable enough in that to speak to it. I would like to do some more research. And what I found for me now you know I'm a big, big lover of Biosans. I really enjoy that product line. I think that they're an amazing company doing amazing things. But for me, I don't know exactly what it is, but it is, I don't, I wish, you know what I should look up? I should look it up here. Um, this does have a few of uh, essential oils in it. And it might be the lemon in it this is like a there's like a lemon and grapefruit that's what it is so it smells like lemon and grapefruit now with my body chemistry i could not get away from it it just like smelled like that all day long and so for me i did not love the smell because i kept thinking like god am i smelling <laughs> um i'm being really graphic here sorry but it just did not work my body chemistry, although I really did enjoy it. It's very smooth. It did not make white marks on my clothes. I did not stain my clothes. You know how sometimes uh, antiperspirants can actually make the sweat stains underneath your arms worse. That did not happen with this one. Again, it's very smooth going on. You can tell I have used a lot of this. Um, and it's obviously all plant derived, the squalane. The squalane is all plant derived. It's very hydrating to the skin. I didn't feel like it was, you know, drying. I uh, definitely have skincare benefits in the deodorant because they are a skincare company. But for me, it was the smell, in, the innate smell in it that just did not work with my body chemistry. But I would love to see them come out with a few more different scents, uh, but it, this is really, really, really fantastic. Really, really fantastic. Now, this one by Kopari. Now, I 
I literally, I bought this at Sephora myself because I just was not into the smell of the Biosense one. I wanted to try something different. This deodorant also is $14. This is also baking soda free. Um, it is also, both these are aluminum free, by the way, you guys. It contains 100% plant-based actives that are non-toxic and provides odor protection. It glides on clear, which I absolutely love. That is one thing that I really, really love about this. It's very, it smells like coconut. <laughs> I love this, but it's a very light scent. Um, it is definitely more smooth as it goes on. Uh, it does not stain clothes as well. It's also vegan, cruelty-free, formerly without aluminum, baking soda, or silicones. Awesome. Um, and it's based, obviously, this line is based in coconut, um, but I have not found any pore clogging qualities to that underneath my arms. I have not found like it's gotten rough. I do not have any itching with it. It's really been my favorite, and I love, love it. It's so good. So it also has Kopari's coconut oil is a skin win. It has the healthiest fat acid concentration of any oil on the planet, the good fats that soak into the skin and lock in moisture. Sure. It's also one of the only oils to contain lauric acid, also found in mother's milk, which is antibacterial and antimicrobial, meaning that it helps fight inflammation and keep redness at bay, which is, uh, I found to be the absolute truth when I um, am using this one. So long story short, this one wins out for me right now. I have a little birdie that told me one of my favorite companies is working on one of these, so I'm oh, interested to see what that looks like when it comes out. But right now, this is my absolute favorite. I actually look forward to putting it on. All right. So thanks so much for being here, and I appreciate it, and I hope to see you on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, loves.